Hey, that's Mark from Third Shot Sports. If you love pickleball, you're going to want to watch this. One of the things that separates levels of pickleball player is the ability to get out of trouble. That is, to be in a defensive position with the opponents attacking and to find a way to neutralize them, to level the playing field. When this is done successfully, it is very often referred to as resetting the point. The player has reset the scales so things are more even. Let's look at how they do that. The first thing to remember is that when players are going on attack, they're typically looking for high balls. And that's because if they get a ball that's high, they can hit on a downward trajectory. And if they can hit down on the ball, they can hit hard while still keeping the ball in play. So when you're defending and looking to reset the point, the priority should be sending the ball back low enough that the opponents have to hit upward. Not because they're gonna miss the shot necessarily, but by forcing them to hit up, you limit their ability to hit hard and still keep the ball in the court. And if the opponents play a slow ball back over the net, there's a very good chance you've reset the point. If you want to be able to reset the point, you have to control the height of the ball. If the ball is hit down low near your feet, you will have to hit with an upward arc. The question becomes, how big is that arc? If you play the ball back with too much speed, the arc will be bigger and likely to give the opponents another attacking opportunity. However, if the speed is removed from the ball, the upward arc will be smaller and tighter to the net, making it more likely that the opponents have to hit up on their next shot. If you receive a ball that's slightly higher, on the other hand, you're going to want a neutral paddle face so that you can send the ball back at the same height from which it came. Regardless of the height of the ball you're trying to reset, it's going to be important that the swing is very compact. Too much paddle movement will make it difficult to control the ball. Notice how the players resetting the ball very often have their paddle out front, between their body and the net. This is a strong, stable hitting position and makes it easier to control the speed of the ball and the angle of the paddle. Finally, it's really important to remember that you're not trying to win the point by resetting the ball. Really, what you're trying to do is just get out of trouble. You're trying to weather the storm. It's important that players who are under attack are patient waiting for their opportunity first to reset things, to neutralize the opponents, and then to look for something they can pounce on. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Then you can catch all our new videos as soon as they come out. Thanks as always to our very good friends at Selkirk Sport. They're amazing, amazing at resetting the point. See you next time.